Tipping a tarot 888. This message is for Capricorn. Now you can have Capricorn anywhere in your chart. And Capricorn, this message may resonate with you, or maybe just a piece. Take what does, baby, and send the rest to the universe. Let it be for someone else. So Capricorn, at the bottom of the deck, we have the world. And look, right behind it, it's like you have your sight or your focus. Your focus on something that... You focus on something you want to overcome. Now, this might be something that you might have been left out in the past. Because I'm getting a little bit of this energy of the last reading you have. It's almost like you're learning how to break these soul ties. And you're getting damn good at it. For some of you guys, you're getting so good at you did so much research. You're learning how to break them. That you're about to teach other people how to come out of the dark out of this um, abandonment phase of their life, you know, for some of the, some of you guys, look, I see, I see you balance, but I keep hearing you're not doing it alone. God is with you. So some of you guys are feeling this energy of being untouchable. This is for my Capricorns that are already in this energy of knowing or, or, or going through this breakthrough, who they are, who you came here to be. And it's almost like no matter how many people come against you, this is what you're realizing, Capricorn, no matter how many people come up against you, you still end up winning. They might delay you, they might stop you a little bit, but this is what you're coming to realize. This is what I'm hearing. Capricorn, look, and as you look towards your future, because you're in your present energy right here, enjoying and seeing. But some of you guys are so focused on getting to the other side of this lake, this river. There's, there's something that you have your sight set on. And the universe wants you to know is to keep your balance no matter how. And this is what you've learned, Capricorn. This is for my high vibrational Capricorns. Look at you. Even in emotional turmoil, maybe things could be falling apart everywhere. And I hear it, I'm hearing something about 10,000 could fall on one side or 1,000 on one and 10,000 on the other. But you still have this balance. You still focus on God and what God is going to provide for you. Look, you know, you know what's already coming for you. For some of you guys... It's almost like you ask and you shall receive is what I'm hearing. For some of you guys, you already know that once you get to a certain high vibration, a level, when it comes to your spirituality, things are going to come to you easily and effortlessly is what I'm hearing. And this is going to require you what? Putting yourself first. For a lot of you guys, you guys are waiting and attracting a, a, a life partner. A divine connection is what I'm hearing. And someone from your past is going to be in this three of swords. Because you're about to be into union. It's like the universe. The universe is bringing you somebody that you're compatible with. And a lot of you guys, Capricorn, you guys are in this energy. You ain't putting up. You're not, you're not accepting breadcrumbs is what I'm hearing. You know what you want. You know what you deserve. And, and you look. You're the queen of swords. That's what I'm hearing. For a lot of you guys, you stand up for freedom in all areas of your life. It's almost like you're breaking cycles. Because in, in the past, a lot of you Capricorns, I'm hearing you were maybe people pleasing. But you're realizing Capricorn, for a lot of you guys, you guys have been seeing 555 and I'm hearing huge changes are coming. But you are breaking cycles. And it's almost like I'm hearing when it comes to freedom. Because some of you guys were, you guys were in abusive relationship. Some of you guys were dealing with the narcissistic energy. They wanted just to dominate you. And for a lot of you guys, you guys are learning. I'm hearing you're learning about familiar spirits. And if you're not learning that, they want you to look into that. And how to destroy them, how to overcome them, how to 
break that curse. So for a lot of you guys, you have been given this task, is what I'm hearing, the task to be in a leadership position. I keep hearing you're about to teach people how to break free. And this is how you focus you are. Look at that. How to set people free in all areas of their lives. So Capricorn, hit the like button, share, subscribe, comment if this is you. There's something about your energy, Capricorn, that you're, you're radiating. And people are seeing this. Capricorn, you're radiating this energy of fearlessness. It's almost like I just keep hearing whatever people send towards you or as many people that want to come up against you. Capricorn, you're not fighting the way you used to fight. A lot of you guys are just protecting your energy and you're giving it to God. I hear some of you guys saying God could do it better when it comes to revenge. Because some of you guys thought about it, but you said, no, I ain't going to mess up my blessings. And some of you guys are realizing that behind this situation that you were dealing with, with I, I just keep hearing betrayal within a family. This could be with a sibling. Let alone love, because I'm hearing love in a minute. They want me to point that out in a minute, but... See, this flies out. <laughs> and you have the, the page of pentacles, you know. But going back to where they're saying you had a betrayal and it's something something to do with your inner circle. But you're realizing how untouchable you are. You're not allowing that energy to affect you. You're pushing forward. And I'm just here, look, I have this, this caught my attention right here. It's almost like you could feel... Archangel Michael protecting you. For some of you guys, you need to reach out. He's right there just waiting for you to reach out. It says right here, no one can stop your destiny but yourself. Rise. So some of you guys are taking, you're taking action. Look, and some of you guys are forgiving yourself. Some of you guys, you're forgiving your past. Or you're forgiving somebody that has a white car, white truck. But let's get back to this love. Now, some of you guys, when it came to love, you guys were dealing with somebody that wasn't shit. They ain't shit is what I'm hearing. Your ancestors are loud and clear. Hold on. Mm -mm. Mm. They wanted me to take a drink. And they're saying, some of you guys, this particular person that ain't shit could be a fire sign. Sagittarius, Aries, or a Leo. All they wanted to do was just trick you out of your energy, your prosperity. Your Some of you guys, they, they didn't like your social status is what I'm hearing. How people gravitated towards you. How people normally loved you. How people looked up to you. And they wanted this energy for themselves. So some of you guys were dealing with a liar. I'm hearing a pathological liar. Somebody with, with mommy and daddy issues. Like, <laughs> your ancestors are saying, pay attention what, they, what they're saying about their ex. And the red flags are all there. For some of you guys, you were dealing with a person, man or female. They talk shit, so much shit about their ex. But I'm hearing they were projecting those insecurities, you know, that it was actually them that was cheating and, and abusing and all that. So they want you to pay attention because some of you guys have somebody that that has mommy, daddy issues. And like I'm hearing like this, Capricorn, some of you guys are dealing with somebody that they talked about their ex-partner, spouse. That oh they they were always with their mom if this was the man oh the you know with the mom and dad and they had a sneak around, but you're coming to find out that this particular person is the same freaking way. You don't know the other person, the ex. Some of you guys do, and there's nothing wrong with spending time with your folks, your mom or dad, especially if they're older. 
But you're coming to find out that this particular person has the same issues. You want to go out with them? They're always with their mom. It's like, shit, they're attached to their mom, and they might be in their 40s, 50s. And like I said, there's nothing wrong, but this particular person ain't, ain't trying to spend time with you. And it's obvious, and you're coming to the conclusion. For a lot of you guys, you wanted to build with this particular person, but it's, there's too much. There's too many, too many blocks right there. And the universe is trying to show you because this particular person is projecting and acting like a victim. But the universe wants you to move on. And some of you guys are being tested. Some of you guys, the universe brought this particular person back into your life. But you are strong. You're untouchable is what I'm hearing. So what does that mean? For a lot of you guys, your emotions. <laughs> Damn. Spirit, look at this. Your emotions are on point. Meaning that this particular person, this lover, that at one point you wanted to build with. Look, and it could have been very fruitful. I'm hearing we could have had it all from Adele. But this particular person is finding out they can't trick you anymore. Look at the fox right there. They can't trick you no more. No. Look, you put a stop to that shit. And you're manifesting something else, something better. And even though you might have got burnt, look at the hand, it's burnt right there, the palm. But you have the ability to stop their negativity. Their, some of you guys, you were dealing with somebody that just wanted to do love spells. Come back to me, Cor Scorpio, <laughs> Capricorn. Some of you guys could have been dealing with the Scorpio. It was doing magic on you. But you put a stop to that. Look, you're too powerful. And you got Archangel Michael next to you, baby, so... Some of you guys are learning how to destroy these, these jujus, witchcraft they might be sending towards you. Some of you guys are just too protected. You, the universe wanted you to go through the experience of going through black magic. They weren't going to let you fall all the way, but it built you up and made you stronger. Fuck, you, you, look, you get everything you want after this test. Some of you guys are passing your test, and you're about to receive freedom in all areas of your life and somebody from your past whoo, whoo, they're going to be in this energy the, th the three of swords but they, look look at the darkness coming it, this is karma for this particular person this particular person played on your heart look they broke your heart but look how faithful you are to the universe because some of you guys Capricorn, you weren't all innocent. Yeah, you might have played around. I'm hearing maybe this was a three-part, uh, what do you call it, third-party situation is what I'm hearing. And you actually, what was meant to be a one-night thing, one-night stand, get it in, get it out, man or female, turn into something romantic. The universe put you guys together for a certain reason, but this particular person got big-headed. And even though they might have betrayed you, Capricorn, Hit the like button, share, subscribe, baby, comment if this is you. This particular person started to wanting to take control and dominate and steal your confidence. Some of you guys look back and say, damn, man, ever since I met this particular person, it's almost like I crashed and burned. And it's almost like this particular person was a vampire, an energetic vampire trying to be you, trying to use the way you talk and how you deal with people. You know, you taught, a, you might have taught this person a lot. <laughs> For a lot of you guys, they want you to read Isaiah 40. Some of you guys could be 40, but I'm here in verse 31 and it's God's promise. You are a generational curse breaker, period, is what I'm hearing. Look, you might look like the wounded warrior. But you're a spiritual gangster, baby. And look what comes to you. Ace of Cups. And look, everything the enemy stole, you see the devil right there, has to return it back to you tenfold. You stayed ten toes down, baby. Look, because you passed the test, because you didn't stop, because you kept moving, and because you trusted in God, the universe. Look. Look at this. Not only do you have the nine of pentacles, you go to the ten of pentacles. Look at this. Some of you guys, the hawk is going to be significant. Maybe you've been seeing a lot of hawks or hawks. 
is a totem animal for you, spiritual animal. They want you to research. And also the dog, they say. But look this, nine to 10, and somebody is all up in their head. They're pissed because they don't have union with you. And they see somebody else coming towards you. Some of you guys, you don't even know this particular person is coming towards you. They see your light. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm hearing. So let's see. What is your person thinking? Because we're about to get into careers. Somebody with a white card. Let's see. They say, my life is a mess right now. So some of you guys are dealing with somebody and you're wondering, why aren't they coming towards you? Because they're receiving their freaking karma. And look, because they screwed you over. And <laughs> look, all they have. These are your painful memories. Some of you guys, like I said, you forgave, you let go. And you kept it pushing forward. But they're realizing how much pain they caused towards you. It says, I don't know who I am anymore. Of course, because they're receiving karma. They, for some of you guys, this particular person was partying, was slandering while they were slandering your name, dragging your name through the mud. They felt this sense of power. But since the universe allowed them to get up, let their ego inflow. They, it's almost like God allowed them to see how far they would go. And then said, you know what? This is enough and started taking it away and they're losing their power. And they don't know who they are no more. And all they can remember is the painful memories they caused you. It says, you are so different from everyone around me. Yes. They chose to listen to other people instead of their heart. For some of you guys, you're dealing, like I said, with a, 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 a person that is just has mommy and daddy issues. They hide behind their mommy and daddy. They can't make up their mind. They want to be with you. But they're so concerned what their, what their family would think of you. For some of you guys, that's, that's what I'm hearing. All right. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, Venus, anywhere in the chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe. Let's see. What else are they thinking? Spirit, let's see. It says right here, you, they have hurt me. For some of you guys, like I said, they've been dealing with somebody. They thought they had their back. But in reality, they wanted to destroy this connection. They didn't want you to come into union. So what did they do? They steered this person in a different direction. And for some of you guys, they're getting karma. What they did to you is being done to them. And now they're coming to you. They have hurt me. And look, this one flew out and it says, you were right. For some of you guys, if they're being hurt, maybe you warned them. Capricorn, you might have told them this particular person, they're, they're after your money. They don't love you. For some of you guys, oh, this guy's this guy or a friend or um, or female is gonna betray you, but they didn't listen. For some of you guys, you warned them. Some of you guys prophesied something, and now they're saying you were right. And now they want to be different, but is it too late? Because it may be too late for you. Some of you guys, they were stuck with drugs and alcohol. Or they're dealing with this right now. And for some of you guys, Capricorn, this particular person might have accused you of, of, of alcohol, abusing alcohol and drugs. And some of you guys might have got a little bit tipsy and a little bit high, but not the way they were maybe, you know, telling people. But I'm hearing the tables have turned. And for some of you guys, this particular person is a pill popper now. They're abusing pills. They have health issues. Mm -hmm. What are you dealing with? Capricorn, sun, moon, rising. Look at all these cards that fell out over here. I'm going to pick up a few. And it says right here. It says, don't put up with my BS. Some of you guys are like, shit. I haven't been putting up with your BS in a while because some of you guys haven't seen this particular person. It says childhood trauma. Look, what did I say? These cards don't lie. 
I'm a, I am better with my mind than with my heart. So some of you guys, they weren't listening to their heart. And I think the tables have turned. Now it's you that is using your logic. Is this person worthy of me? Is this person right for me? All right, let's get into career real quick. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, anywhere in your chart. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment if this is you. In career, let's see. In career, look at this. In career, you're all up in your head, but you got this. I'm hearing God is with you. You know what choice you're going to make. So some of you guys could be in your head about a decision to cut off a particular person from your life or to change careers. And when I say cut off a particular person in your life, it could be in careers. If you in a business partnership, some of you guys are, are in your head. This particular person, look, this coming up again. Some of you guys are dealing with the with the fire sign, Leo, Sag, or Aries. I'm hearing if you're if you were in a business relationship with this particular person, in other words, if you were married to this particular person. They were very vindictive is what I'm hearing. So this particular person, you might have divorced this person. They want to take everything, including your home. But they're falling from grace because the universe is not allowing that. And you know this already. For some of you guys, you were left out or pushed out. or For some of you guys, you had to let this business go. And the universe had a, this is what they don't know. Some of you guys, you had to let a business go over in career. And if this is a career that you, that you worked in, that you had a lot of love for, maybe look, you right here you used to, you used to love this particular thing, but it brought too much conflict. And what is, what are you communicating to the universe? That you wanna heal, that you wanna move on that you want to let go of this toxic relationship, business relationship or industry that you might be in. And the universe is telling you to focus on what your life purpose is, what the universe God has illuminated for you. This is going to bring you justice. Big time. So I see a lot of you guys letting go of a business relationship, partnership, or an industry, it's almost like you're about to do something so different. If you're staying in the same industry, you're just going on your own. You're letting go of somebody that no longer resonates, even though you who you might have a lot of love for this particular person. And you're just gonna go with the flow and you're gonna allow the universe to bring in that sunshine and look, this is what you have coming towards you. Prosperity, mucho dinero. And this is your justice, baby. This is good karma. And this is the energy you're going to be in. Empress. Co-creating with the universe. Yep. So that's what I got for you. Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Anywhere in your chart. Put it in the comments. I am untouchable. And no matter how many people come against me, I still win, baby. Because some of you guys are just too blessed to be stressed is what I'm hearing. So hit the like button, share, subscribe, and comment, baby, if this is you. Infinite Tarot 888.